My name is Ophelia Dahl and I'm the Executive Director of Partners in Health. My talk was entitled Beyond Ebola, Building Health Systems in Resource Poor Settings. The major points that I hope to get across from my talk this morning was the fact that health systems are very necessary um, in, uh, if you're going to deliver healthcare in any any kind of um, country, any place. Um, and so I was trying to make the connection between emergency responses and the long-term goal of building a health system. Um, and so I gave examples of what we've been able to do at Partners in Health over the last three decades or so in terms of building systems and the, the slow um, marathon type work that that is in terms of not getting quick fixes but being able to build things um, piece by piece and, um, and see the returns from that but know that it's, it's long, complex, deeply rewarding work. Health systems are important. They're something that we take for granted because we're surrounded by systems. Systems, without a system, we can't have any kind of an emergency response here. Uh, one of the things that I, I talked about actually was um, even in something so terrible as the, the Boston Marathon bombing that took place recently is the reason that there were so many people that were able to survive after such a terrible event is because we had a system in place. We had an ambulance system, we had a transport system, we had an emergency department that fed into a, uh, an operating room. We have the system of nurses and doctors that have been trained uh, in a medical education system. We have a logistic system and a supply chain system so that all of the, um, all of the necessary drugs and tools um, were available for their treatment. And then afterwards we have a system where they can actually go to rehab um, and be integrated back with occupational therapy and otherwise to their lives. Those systems take a long time to build. They're something that we just take for granted because they're here. In many places in the world, there's nothing even resembling a system. Um, if, if, if we're lucky, there is a, maybe a clinic freestanding in a place in, in rural West Africa. And that's the reason that there's so much vulnerability around these big crises like Ebola or an earthquake um, without a system in place. I love the question answer period and when the students actually um, talk and I feel like uh, I make a point to make sure that I leave a lot of room at the end because I want it to be a conversation. The questions that the fellows ask are always um, thoughtful, challenging, interesting um, and it makes me wish I could stay for a, for a lot longer. Uh, one of the early questions um, was um, making sure that um, we talked about the invitation in terms of being invited into a country rather than presuming that um, we have the answers and the services needed and we just um, brashly go in um, and provide services. The students said, how do you make sure that you're invited? How do you make sure that um, this is something that a country wants and needs? Um, and I was able to answer it in terms of um, one of the philosophies of Partners in Health, which is to work closely with governments, with ministries of health, with the community to make sure that we're integrated and part of the solution, not just coming in to dictate one. When I'm preparing for a talk um, to Wellesley students particularly, I think very, very carefully about it. And, and I, I try to think about the two or three things I want them to take away. Um, and a lot of the time what I want to make sure is that they have, um, that their standards are high, that they maintain high aspirations in whatever it is that they choose to do. And I'm able to use my work as, a, as an example of that. And we're able to have very specific examples about, um, about what happens if aspirations are low. And I think when it comes to service and service delivery, often there are two standards for um, different groups of people in the world. Um, and I urge them often to just think about um, the kinds of standards that they would want for themselves or people they love. Um, and I know they already get this um, and they have such an innate understanding of it and such an interest in the world um, that when they think about inequality, I want to make sure that they're really excited about being aspirational and, uh, and achieving the highest possible standards and goals for themselves and also those people that they want to affect. When I think about giving advice to Wellesley students, I, I have to say most of the time it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a circle in the sense that I feel as though I often am so impressed by what the students are already thinking about and doing that I often feel like I leave more filled up um, uh, without question than when I arrived. So sometimes it's, it's difficult for me to answer that question directly about advice to the students, but I would say that um, I just try to make sure that they 
um, they are a group of people that has been quite naturally socialized for success in their lives. And that if they can apply that same socialization to problems, whatever they are in the world, um, or whatever it is they choose to do, that they will succeed without question. I have to say that it's actually a remarkable thing to see how accomplished some of these people are already not necessarily with the amount of experience they've had in the world, but how interested and open they are already um, to want to tackle um, big subjects. And I think that that's what I find inspiring because um, I don't remember being surrounded by so many people who felt uh, so positive about what their impact can be um, in the world. And I think that they already have, um, they already have an idea about, about what it is they might do and I think that um, there's not a brashness there there's just a sort of they they seem open to infinite possibility and that's what I find inspiring because anyone in any job can put their nose to the grindstone and you can sometimes um, forget what it is to be inspired by all kinds of other people who are going to um, take this work on whatever this work is the work um, and inspire countless other people's and people and I know that they're going to they're going to make a great impression, whatever it is they do. I've always felt that about Wellesley students. They have a tremendous ability to um, fulfill great potential.